finally, Mean Girls. You guys know what day it is? No. It's October 3rd. Good day, mate. <sighs> Why am I like this? I need to get an intro for this vlog. I need to find some way to greet you guys that doesn't make me ick myself out. I'm just sitting here on October 3rd of all days, feeling like I wanna get in the October 3rd state of mind. And I think the only way that I could possibly do that right now in this very moment is to get a mother in Salisbury steak in the oven cooking. So I figured I'd call up my best friends. Hey, what's good? You guys busy? Oh, you're not? You're trying to watch me make some Salisbury steak right now? Hell yeah, let's do it. That's me talking to you guys on the phone, saying like, what's up guys? Like, let's make some Salisbury steak. So I went to my favorite recipe website, which you know is delish.com. Scared up a recipe that I have most of the ingredients for. I just need to pick up some stuff at Trader Joe's. Don't tell my husband. That mother hates Trader Joe's, which is crazy. You know what? It's freaking, oh my God, it's 1.18 p.m. I sent out some production emails for my spec commercial. I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna also brush my teeth because I deserve it. And then I'm gonna put on some sunscreen and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Now you know the entire deal. Now you know all that we're accomplishing today. Uh-oh, I found my husband in the, in the hallway. Are you getting in the shower? Can I have a minute to wash my face? Here? No, in my bathroom, but before you turn on the water and I don't wanna, oh, okay. okay, bye. And that's on a marriage, you guys. It's all about communication. Communication about when and where, who is showering, and um, ensuring that you don't burn each other if you have that type of house where you can only have water running in one, one space at one time. I don't know why I'm crouching over. You guys don't care shit about me cleaning my face, huh? If you were also having a hard time getting your day started, get up. Just start it with me right now. You got this. Got your day going. You deserve a clean face and some brushed teeth. If your teeth feel like they're wearing sweaters, brush them. Squat for you, brush. My sunscreen of choice for the face. My dermatologist said if it doesn't have zinc, then it's not what I should be using. Okay, I'll just rub that in now. Oh, God damn. Shove that fucker in my eye. Sometimes it's hard to do the little self-care things that we need, but ultimately we feel better after we do them. I saw this guy on TikTok posted this really simple algorithm. It's not even an algorithm, just like a little chart. Like if you're feeling like everyone hates you, take a nap. If you're feeling like everyone hates each other, go outside. If you hate yourself, take a shower. And um, honestly, I feel like the face cleaning is halfway to a shower, and I already hate myself less, so mission accomplished. Freaking beautiful day. Really nice day out. I already feel like everyone loves each other. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do, oh, oh, I'm gonna do another brave thing. I'm gonna put myself in frame in the car. Look at how dirty my windows are. I think I'm gonna bring you inside Trader Joe's. It's a unique experience. Anyone who's ever been inside Trader Joe's knows that it is a hectic free-for-all. Um, humanity goes out the window and I would like to challenge everybody that is watching this vlog to bring peace and serenity to their next Trader Joe's experience and I'm going to do just that with mine today. God, you know what? Already I'm walking to get a cart and I'm thinking, <laughs> we're not vlogging in this store right now. We're just not gonna do it. So I'll see you when I get back. Okay, we did it. It's horrifying. A totally overwhelming experience. There were people on the phone having deep conversations about the lessons they've learned from the people who stress them out. And I'm so glad I decided not to vlog in that beach because I don't know if I would have made it out alive. Okay, the meat isn't done thawing, so I'm going to empty the dishwasher while I wait for it to thaw. And then if it's still not thawed, I'm gonna fold my laundry because I deserve to have my laundry folded. Excellent news, guys. Uh, the beef is thawed, so I don't have to fold my laundry, though I do deserve folded laundry. I wish somebody else would fold it for me. <gasps> it appears my husband has been in the kitchen today and left but an egg. 
which is fine because our recipe only calls for one egg. So let's get into the ingredients needed for our Salisbury steaks. To be real with you guys, I've never had a Salisbury steak. I don't know how this is supposed to go or what it's supposed to taste like, but I feel like it's fall vibes. Like, call me crazy. Okay, I need one large egg, plain dried breadcrumbs. Oh my God, not breadcrumbs. It's breadcrumbs. Get your minds out of the gutter, you sick fuck. Worcestershire sauce garlic powder, kosher salt, onion powder, freshly ground black pepper, ground beef, and neutral oil. That's probably not neutral, but I put it in everything. And that's for the steak. And then for the gravy, mushrooms, kosher salt, unsalted butter, yellow onion chopped, two springs fresh thyme, all-purpose flour, tomato paste, red wine such as a Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, low sodium chicken stock, and Worcestershire sauce. Let's go. Um, I am also going to make mashed potatoes to pair with the Salisbury steak, so I'm gonna peel, oh! I'm gonna peel these potatoes that I just had laying around because I'm just so wifey like that. My husband bought the potatoes. I'm just gonna finish cooking them before they sprout. I'm gonna start boiling them because I feel like they take forever to boil. Let's see. Salisbury steak. Step one, line baking sheet with parchment. In a large bowl, mix egg, breadcrumbs, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, salt, onion powder, and pepper. Add beef. and mix with clean hands until mixture becomes tacky. Just like me. Okay, I gotta mix that off camera because I need to get my hands in it and I can't hold the camera and get my hands in it. So, see you later, South Steaks. Voila! Okay, so the next thing it tells me to do is form mixture into four three inch wide, four inch long, three and a quarter inch thick oval patties and arrange on prepared sheet. Using a clean finger press eight to 10 dimples into each patty. Okay, let's go. Erkity, so I made my little patties and now um, in the skillet over medium high heat, I'm going to put the two tablespoons of oil, place the patties in the skillet, reduce heat to medium, and cook undisturbed until deeply browned on the bottom, two to three minutes. Turn and cook until the other side is browned another two or three minutes. Transfer to a large plate. Okay, during those two to three minutes, I'm gonna chop the onion, which you know means gaggies. steaks are cooked they look good I hope I didn't fuck that shit up. Um, in the same and then Joe doesn't want mushrooms so I'm gonna make two rounds of sauce one no mushrooms one with mushrooms I'm gonna pour some of the excess grease into that so that there's two things of meat grease in it um, and I'm gonna split everything else up between it evenly except for the shrooms we're gonna add onion thyme half a teaspoon salt Cur cook stirring occasionally until onions are slightly softened and translucent. That's five to seven minutes. Just do it until they're translucent. If it's seven minutes and they're not translucent, keep fucking going, bitch. 
add flour and tomato paste and cook stirring frequently until tomato paste is oh, darkened and beginning to stick to the skillet. About two minutes. Add wine and cook stirring until light, slightly reduced and a thick jammy paste forms. About two minutes. Slowly whisk in stock and Worcestershire sauce. He's just reverse sneezing, he's fine. I'm gonna go plug one of his nostrils. Bring to a boil over high heat, then reduce heat to medium low and simmer, stirring occasionally until thickened, four to five minutes. Those are our orders, girlies. That's a f ton of shit, by the way. This is more than two steps, bro. The, or than one main big squeeze step. Delish. I skipped a step and now I'm backtracking a step and I was supposed to have removed the mushrooms before starting the onions and added the butter with the onions, but here we are. So we're just gonna keep on keeping on and add the butter and like just, um, do. we're gonna do our best. We're gonna be okay and we're just gonna do our best. We're not gonna beat ourselves up, we're just gonna do our best. And Joe's so excited for this. Okay, give it a little taste taste. Oh, fuck. oh god, it's fucking good. Can somebody just explain to me why it's not cool to just eat gravy as soup? Bro, I'm having a moment with this gravy. But for real, like why can't I just eat this gravy as soup? Like honestly, I wanna know. Oh, it's so good. Okay, let's try the naan. Mm, fuck, so good. <gasps> it makes me crazy. It's so good. Holy, fuck. god damn, dude. My husband is a lucky man. If that, uh, if the steaks themselves aren't, fucked, he's gonna be so happy. Ooh, ooh, wee. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my mess and then let this simmer and thicken. Damn, I feel so bad. He doesn't like mushrooms. It's so much better with the mushrooms. Just spilled some, slopped some out. This is like, you don't want to waste this. It's just so delish. It's so delicious. Mm, mm. And it is permicuous. Permiscuous. Hi, my fucking mess. Joe is sweetly over at a storage unit right now picking up some film gear so that I don't have to spend any money renting stuff for my spec commercial. And he's just out there in 90 degree heat, sweating his little fucking ass off, putting together an entire grip and camera fucking package for me for free because he loves me and I'm just feeling really overwhelmed by the sweet love and support I have of everybody in my community because to do this spec commercial I can't fucking afford it I put all my money into the Nike one and then they were like two more and I was like that's crazy that's crazy my fuckers need like thirty thousand dollars to fucking do that shit and everyone's still not being paid even with that much money that's just to do it safely Whatever. So I'm doing this for no money, which is why I'm returning this stuff to Ikea. And for those of you that said that makes me a bad person, you're wrong. I was also informed that they resell that at a discounted price, so really, I'm a fucking philanthropist. I'm doing for others what I cannot do for myself, and that is buying it at a discounted rate. So, suck on that. What I'm trying to say is, I love community. I love the people in my community. I love so much that I have a friend group that's incredibly talented, really good at what they do, and so willing to come and just bring something that I see in my weird little head to life. So, mm, mm, mm. God, I'll vlog that a little bit and I'll introduce you to the gang because they're pretty G. The best of them is my producer, Maya. She will not be on camera, but just know that woman is doing the Lord's work. I don't know where this little spurt came from, but I just want to fuck this gravy and because I can't stick a dick into gravy right now, I'm 
I'm just juiced on my community. Okay, the dogs are barking because Joe's unloading the car, which is so sweet of him. I've cleaned the kitchen. I'm gonna make a plate for myself because I think I'm starving. I'm pairing it with this salad kit from Trader Joe's. It's the everyday butter lettuce salad kit with Parmesan cheese, croissant croutons, and French vinaigrette. This it is my crack. <gasps> Hubby's here, I'm gonna plate it up, bye. Time for the Lizzie Gordon taste test. Ooh. Mm. A little lukewarm. Freezing. Oh mm, my god. It's good as fuck. Woo! I'd give this an eight and a half out of ten. I'm living loving. Okay, I've got low key bad news for you. It's cold as fuck. It's just cold. There's nothing I can do about it. Second thing, we I guess I could vacuum it. And I put it in the microwave. Second thing is, um, oh, I don't remember what else I was gonna say. It's just cold, that's all. Are you ready for the taste test? No. <laughs> One, Billy Doe taste test. All right, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's just my kind of salty. 8.7. I gave it eight and a half. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good as f on. A plus. So this is something that we're gonna end up making probably once a week in this household because it is so goddamn delicious. And oh stop, stop, stop. I forgot to take the oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to take the thyme leaves out or stems. So you ladies at home, please remember to do that before you um, gag your billy doughs. And um, until next time, uh, oh, excuse me. Edit that out. I'll see you next Tuesday.